container box outside of game, Gamescom uh, to find out more about a, a very hot game, uh, Rune Master, that's coming out from Paradox. And he made an appearance at the, at the press conference at Sony's yesterday. It's coming out on PS4 as well. But let's let's start let's start with with sort of because seeing this game for the first time really demoed here, I can really tell that it's it's so deeply inside of the North mythology, and and uh, it really feels like you're you're. It's almost like you you want to stick very true to it. So, w can you tell us a little bit about that that vision for the game and, and sort of what sets it apart from perhaps other games that have been done in in Norse territory? Yeah, I think it's a lot. I don't think there's been a game that is truly delved deep into Norse mythology before, not in this way. Uh, we have done a ton of research and we're really trying to get the myths to come alive. But we're still using a very modern language in the game because we don't want it to sound stuck up and boring. Um, and w I mean, we have really the pros at, uh, and you know all the mythological sources. Um, and uh, we're, you know, Odin is roaming the lands of Mid Midgard and hanging out with the humans. And uh, the giants, well, they don't even believe in the gods. Uh, they don't think they're any special and so on. So yeah, we're, we're crazy about the Norse mythology. And I mean, the environment, Midgard is very much Sweden, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we, we were ho really hoping to create uh, an RPG that is based on the true foundation. And you, you this is your sort of your uh, entry into RPGs. You had some tries way, way, way back, but uh, still looking at it again, the strategy sort of heritage <laughs> certainly <laughs> comes through, uh, and, and especially in combat. Can you tell us a little bit about the idea of that? You're not really using the sort of the trope of, of companions. Instead, you sort of have an army along with you. You have an army along with you that is only visible in battles. Mm. So on the map, you are alone as a hero. Uh, what we have done instead of having traveling companions is that we have created these reoccurring NPCs that are spread out all over the world and they may, you know, gossip with you, they may ask for help or they may tell you about what, you know, what bigger things are in motion. Actually, Odin is a reoccurring NPC and so it's the war goddess Freya. Uh, so, um, and they're sort of uh, buddies, those two, at least as on the surface. Um, but. Yeah, now I sort of lost tracks. <laughs> so is, is, is that also like, it, does that tie into the sort of the pr procedural nature of the game that it's sort of actually, it's easier to do it that way in the sense that this, because the world is changing and the quests are changing, so having these uh, NPCs come in like this is, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I definitely think it makes it easier because then we can, you know, I've created maybe f the Valdemar guy that we saw in the presentation. Uh, he's appearing in like 10, 15 quests, but you may only get one or two of those. Mm. Uh, you may kill him, he may actually fall ill, he may recover, he may turn into a dragon, uh, or he may actually you know, guide you towards uh, other worlds. And just the fact that you can go to these and they can you know, tell you the small bits and pieces of how they see the story or how they see what's going on in the world gives you different perspective. Um, it's sort of like one person can say that, you know, the world needs to change, can't you see that? And you trust this person because it's almost a friend and then you go to another friend and he goes like, no, no, that's not true. So uh, it's more lifelike in that aspect that, you know, not all your friends agree on everything and you need to find out who's actually telling the truth or who do you agree with. Yeah, uh, so wh what's the time schedule ahead? And, and y you announced the PS4 version, is that coming out at the same time as the others? That's the plan, yes. P uh, PS4, uh, PC, Mac and Linux is at the same time, knock on wood. Um, and we're planning to release it first half of 2015. Uh, so that's the goal. We'll see, you know, if we can stick to that goal, but, you know, when it's ready and good, so. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.